I've worked with hundreds of clients over the years and there's been different ways of me delivering the coaching, the training and the mentoring that I've, that I've done with them. Some people it's with one-on-one, -on -one, some people it's been through membership sites, other people have had things delivered live and there's been hybrids. So how do you actually decide what the best mode of delivery is for what it is that you're doing? I'm going to talk about the pros, the cons, the benefits and the downfalls of all of these different types of deliveries. So stay tuned for this week's vlog and I will share that stuff with you. Alrighty, so there are a bunch of different ways that I've tested and that you could test when it comes to delivering your stuff. Now, for this particular blog, what I'm going to be talking about are people who are usually delivering some kind of coaching or consulting, mentoring or training, all right? Now, if that's not what you do, then that's okay. Maybe you want to go into, branch into that kind of category and, and that is all good. So buckle in and let's take a look. Now, in from 2010 to 2012, I was, and maybe mid 2012, I was delivering just about everything in person. So whether it was here in Mildura, so a tiny little country town in the middle of nowhere, either here or around the different uh, different capital cities in some not Perth, but in the couple of, in the other capital cities around the country. Now, a big part of what what it was that I was doing was really helping people either one-on-one -on -one or workshop based types of things. Now, I loved it, that was great, but it was two flights to pretty much get nearly anywhere except to Melbourne from here. Plus, it would take at least a day to get somewhere there and at least a day to get home. And I've got three kids. Now, way back then, they were really little, so very, very young. These days, they're not so young because we're seven years down the track. But it took a lot of time, energy, money, and, and the cost of being away from my family, that regularly was not sustainable. Plus, my adrenals were burned out and I was really stressed and it wasn't a sustainable way for me to be able to grow my business. So mid-2012, I had a look at, okay, well, what's working well? What can I change? And I decided to start doing what I was doing over Skype or on the phone and generally one-on-one -on -one with people. But what I did was that I built in a bit of a leveraged, a partial leveraged delivery. So on a Wednesday night at seven o'clock, I would go into a private Facebook group. This is in 2012 go into a private client Facebook group and we would do an hour of power. So any questions that they had that I hadn't answered for them during the times that we were on the phone together, I would just get in there and answer all of their questions. And this was really great because it meant number one, that I was having weekly contact with them no matter what happened. Number two, it also meant that the other people in the group were able to learn from all of the other people's questions and conversations and support and quite often that meant that they would have different ideas and it would spark different things that they could go ahead and implement and do. So it was really awesome. Now, Fast forward to the nearly the end of uh, September 2012, I was completely fully booked. I had very little time. I was doing my sales calls. I was flat out busy and I knew that there had to be a different way of being able to help more people without burning myself out. So that was when I decided to start doing some eight week programs and webinars or more webinars and things like that. Now. The first program that I ran, the first group program that I ran, it ran for eight weeks. There was a two day event. And the way that I delivered it was I pre recorded the training. And then on a certain day, so it was on a Monday or a Tuesday every week, I would email all of the people who were enrolled with the, the logons and the links to the membership site. So they would go to a membership site, they could go and consume the training. And then later on that week, so usually on a Wednesday or a Thursday, we would do a live Q&A. So that would be on GoToWebinar or GoToMeeting, and I would just answer any questions that they had about the training from the week before, from the earlier in that week. That worked really well, but one of the downsides to that was that quite often people would end up on that Q&A call later on in the week saying, oh, I haven't had the chance to catch up on the training yet, or I've watched it, but I haven't done homework, or whatever it was, and I did it that way for a couple of rounds. I'm like, this is just, 
this is ridiculous. You know, there's got to be a better way for me to help people to consume the training and get things implemented. And so I decided at the, I think at the end of, or maybe mid-2013, I decided to start going, all right, I'm going to deliver the training live and then and then, and then do a live Q&A. So there were two live sessions with me every single week. So on a Monday, we'd do the live training and then on a Wednesday or a Thursday, we'd do a live Q&A. And I found that the same problems arose, that people might have been on the call on the Monday, but they hadn't implemented or they didn't really have any questions, or they didn't turn up to one or the other because I was asking for a good four hours, four or five hours of contact time with me per week, plus implementation off the back end of it. Now, my programs have only ever gone for six to eight weeks, right? So. There is a finite amount of support that I provided through that time. So I'm like, you know, you guys, you've got to implement, you've got to learn, you've got to get this stuff down so that you can start to get results. Now, some people would implement and some people wouldn't, and some people would get results really fast and some people would take longer. That's the nature of humans, right? That's just the nature of things. That's how, you know, lots of programs, lots of coaching, you can talk to somebody every week for a year and they still probably won't implement everything that you do, everything that you train them and teach them and help them with, right? So that's the first thing that you need to be aware of. The next thing that I tried though was going, okay, what I'll do is I'll do a live training and live Q&A all in one session. So it meant that there was one contact point for the week, so it was good for me and it was good for them. So what we would do is sit on a call for maybe two hours, sometimes it would go a little bit over. I would deliver the training live and then we would go into a live Q&A. So, which obviously, because it's live. So we just, I would talk to every person in the training. Does it make sense for how you apply this into your business? Do you have any questions around the implementation of that? At the start of the call, we'd go through what we talked about, what I taught them on last week, and see if they had any questions or anything that they needed help with off the back of last week's training. Now, that made a huge difference. I eradicated the membership site, which meant that I had less technology that I had to deal with. The people had to be on the training call live in order for me to help them and answer their questions. So it meant that they had to, that they were there live. So they were able to instantly consume the training. And I was talking to every single one of them to check for understanding, to make sure that they were getting it with how it applied into their business. So that worked really, really well. What I would then do at the end of that is email them out the links to the live training call and any other resources, so workbooks, checklists, anything like that, any other video instructions. They would get all of that at via email. Now, that is the way that I found a high touch point online program to work the best. It's less technology for you. You don't have to be worrying about managing content within a membership site, plugins, logons. If things don't work, if your website goes down, if hosting goes bum, you know, you, you don't have any of those really big uh, techie issues. The other thing that I found is that it's very, very easy to see when what people are actually doing, right? Because they're going to check in with you. So you've got your finger on the pulse every week throughout that duration with where people are at. If they're not implementing, you can help work through why. Why not? What's going on for you? What are you afraid of? You know, all of that kind of stuff. Is it just life? Has, has something come up and gotten in the way? So it is a high, a high touch point delivery with the, the minimal amount of... Um, overheads because you're not worrying about all of those separate assets that you need to manage and, and measure. Now, of course, with anything, there are downsides to that as well. It means that you're delivering it live and it does mean that it's a, it's a bit of a different ballgame. The other option that I think is really great for a delivery option is to send people the training and make a Q&A available once a week where they email you all of their questions and you answer them on a call. And then if you still have time within that hour, so if we're thinking about leverage, if you still have time within that hour to answer any live questions that come up, then you can go ahead and do that. It means that they have to take responsibility for their own learnings. I was talking to a multi-million dollar business owner um, who does a lot of live event promotion and a lot of different things. And one of the things that he said to me, which really kind of smacked me over the head a little bit, because I was talking about how, I, you know, if people implement my stuff, they get results. Like that is guaranteed. Like I know that if you consume my training, 
you go through my stuff, I know that you will get results because it's impossible not to with the way that it's structured and the way that it's set up. So that's that. And he said, well, and I, I like my big thing is like, but people don't always implement it and it's so frustrating. And the way that I can ensure to the best of my ability that people implement is by doing these trainings and Q&As live. And he said, Nicola, something that you need to be aware of, no matter what it is that you do, some people will be successful and some people will not be. Some people will implement and some people won't. It is not your responsibility to manage that. It is completely theirs. And that to me, like I kind of, I, I agree with it. And I also have this kind of battle within myself around, well, a lot of people when left to their own devices, they self-sabotage, they shortcut the process, they don't do the work, they, they don't ask for help. So I really want you to think about how do you manage your conscience, your integrity, your support, and how do you want to structure what it is that you are doing in order to, for the best, at the best of your ability, to ensure that people are going to get a result and a transformation that they want. Now, secondary to all of that, Something that I wholeheartedly believe, and since I started this journey in 2010, one of the big things that I believe is this. I know that every single client, every single subscriber, every single person that watches my stuff, I know that you will experience a transformation as a result of an experience or an interaction with me. And it's none of my goddamn business when that happens. Right now, it might be that you decide that you hate me and you're going to go and do things differently. It might decide, it might be that you decide that you have a really amazing experience and you love what it is that's happened and you go ahead and you implement a new model that. It might be that you're like, you know what, Nicola, I don't like the way that you did that. And there is no way known to man that I'm going to do that. And you'll go and change and do whatever it is that you're going to do. You might decide that you're not going to implement my stuff and you know what, you'll, you'll achieve a learning from that. So no matter what, when you believe wholeheartedly that people will experience a transformation, a positive transformation as a result of the work, the content, the stuff that you do, that is what's important because let's face it, you have a duty of care to get your stuff out there, to get out there and help the people that you are here to help. That is your job. That is your sole job is to find the people and help them get what they want. And sometimes that will happen fast, sometimes that will happen slow, sometimes it will happen like years and years and years down the track, right? But know that you are having a really important and powerful impact on the people's lives that you are here to help, all right? So in summary, there are different ways that you can deliver what it is that you do. You can do it completely automated with no interaction with you. You could put them into a membership site, and I hate membership sites, but you could put them into a membership site. You could go ahead and deliver everything live. You could go and do partial live, partially recorded. You can do it live and then send out recordings and resources later on. No matter what it is that you do, my big piece of advice for you is to just test it. See what works best for you. See what works best for your people. And when you find that sweet spot, that's when you want to start to go, all right, how do I scale this? Is it going to create a, a ceiling in terms of time delivery or income that, that you're going to be able to generate? And if it is, then you want to have a look at what you might want to do in order to change that. All right, so there's the pros and cons of different ways of delivery. Any questions, leave them below. Find me on Facebook, email me, whatever it is that you'd love to do. If you would love a one-on-one -on -one session with me to chat about taking your business to the next level using really powerful online marketing, then go ahead, put your information in, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.